up YouTube fan? Welcome to my channel. I'm Denise. If you are new here, if you're returning, thank you for coming back. And welcome to my new digs. I moved for like the fifth time since you guys have known me on YouTube. I am super pumped about the move. It was very exciting. And also part of the move ended with my sweet little record corner, which I can't quite show you, but goes all the way up to the ceiling. There's my face. This is my yellow chair. It's velvet and very pretty. And for today, we are just gonna be chilling in this little universe because I have like a bunch of shit all around me. Today, I thought I would talk about something while it's still relevant and while I'm still like super loving it, and that is Euphoria. If you live under a rock and don't know what I'm talking about, Euphoria is a new HBO series that aired earlier this year, and it is so good. So I thought I would make this video for those of you who haven't watched it and want to know a little bit more. I'm not going to give any spoilers. Or for those of you that watch the show like myself to kind of get another opinion on the show. I found out about this show because I was watching Game of Thrones, the final season. <laughs> During the commercials, before and after the show, I was like, well shit, this show looks so good. It has Zendaya in it. And I was totally hooked and intrigued. So when it first aired, I watched the series premiere and I was like, yep, this is totally for me. Okay, so before we get into the video, I have like some cool fancy hair today going on because I got some headshots done this morning. And also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button below. I was a little skeptical because it was like HBO's fourth first foray into the teen drama category. And I thought that meant that it was gonna be like a CW show. But I was pleasantly surprised that it was completely different and not at all like what I expected. So the story follows a group of teens in a town, I'm guessing it's like an, an LA suburb. The first episode opens up with Rue, Zendaya's character, returning from rehab. And Rue is so complicated and so deep. She's not just like this troubled, drug addicted teen. She has a lot of depth to her. See immediately there's a wall right here and she has a hard time like really connecting with humankind. Wow, that was like super meta. She has a hard time connecting with, with people and a hard time expressing herself and uh, it's so intriguing to just like kind of watch her journey through flashbacks and present day, how she's navigating um, post rehab life. Because I won't go so far as to say that she's sober, but she's recovering from an addiction. And yeah, it was just really powerful. I watched the post episode interviews, which I highly recommend you check out if you didn't watch those, or if you haven't watched the show, watch those post episode interviews um, because Zendaya was saying like, I've never done drugs, I don't drink. This was hard for me. And uh, one of the producers loosely based her story on his life. So I really liked that that came from a real place and that episode opened the stage for all the other characters that we meet throughout the story. And what I really like is that each episode focuses on a different character but like overall throughout the entire episode you get glimpses of every other character's story and so their plot lines like have a continuous and natural um progression throughout the show and that was really cool i really liked that each character has its own unique character arc actors are brilliant i really love hunter schaefer she plays jewels and you know, I didn't even know she was transgender until the episode where they introduced this, but that's how I thought it should be. It felt so real that it just wasn't even talked about. Like, it wasn't even a thing. And I really like that her character, I think more than many of the other characters, really struggles with finding a balance between, like, adulthood and teenagehood. Because I do think if I was in high school at this time, 
I would struggle with that myself. And I just feel like Jules's character is really like trying to like navigate that herself. It was super refreshing to watch. Also love Sydney Sweeney, who is in this show. You'll probably have seen her in Everything Sucks and Handmaid's Tale, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I just love her. And her character, I think, resonated with me the most because physically, um, this is something I've never really talked about on the channel, but physically, we have similar body types. And when I was her character's age in the show, like, it was something that I really struggled with, like, my body said that I was much older than I was, but my life experiences told another story. And I wanted guys specifically to see me as this intelligent and fun and whatever, and not just like this sexualized. And her character struggles with it a lot. Um, she also you know battles like typical teen stuff but i just really liked the depth that she brought to it and how her story developed throughout the whole show and then jacob alodi i think that's how you say his last name he is awesome in this show he just brings this like ferocity and intensity to the show that it really rounds everything out and really connects all these characters in this super interesting way Anyway, so the characters are great. Their arcs are awesome. Apart from the acting, that's really awesome about the show is this like distortion that they do cinematically. It's they pick interesting camera angles and they pick like really interesting points of view to focus on. There's also like some weird psychedelic shit and like some flashing lights in some scenes that it's just really eye catching. That's the word, it, it catches your eye. So that's super cool. And then the other thing that I really loved about the show that I think tied the cinematic and the visual things together was the music. So Drake is a producer of the show. There's a lot of like indie rap on here, indie rap and R&B that I really, really liked. It was super sick soundtrack. And there's like also this like weird classic rock and like some like 50s 60s rock that I was really digging so um, the music is great I think the soundtrack has something for everybody and then lastly the fashion is like kind of outrageous so interesting how these characters are portrayed in their fashion sense as well which I really enjoyed overall I would give euphoria give it like a 9 out of 10 it's a fantastic show it's cinematically appealing I think it has a lesson for everybody and a character for everybody to attach to and while it is a teen drama I really do think that it resonates with adults because like I said it has that like adult teenage struggle going on um, and there are some adult characters that play a pretty prominent role in, role in the show um, I just think everything all-encompassing just makes it an awesome awesome show and I'm really pumped for the second season that's my two cents for what it's worth. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you've already watched Euphoria in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more reviews of TV shows and movies because I have a lot of those coming your way. And if you aren't subscribed already, hit that red button below. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys soon, bye.